It's an absolutely gorgeous day today, so I'm getting on the bike and headed out to Van Cleek Hill. It should be a 100 kilometer trip. First part of the ride takes me north and east through part of the uh, La Rose Forest. It's the part that doesn't appear on the maps, but as you can see, it's here. And uh, beautiful day, just gorgeous. Although it's a little cool. Not too cool, really, but uh, I felt a bit of a twinge in my left knee, and that's not a good sign. So I'm hoping that goes away. So anyhow, I'm about 10 kilometers in now. So I took the dirt back road. It's actually a lot more work. <laughs> my knee's been tweaking some more, but. Uh, it's pretty beautiful, <laughs> and that's why I took this road. This is Riceville, pretty small place, about 20 kilometers into the ride. It's definitely off the commuter routes to Ottawa or Montreal, so it's pretty rural. Also maybe a little sketchy, but I like it. Artisan Farm, one kilometer south of Riceville. www.fermelartisan, F-E-R-M-E-L-A-R-T-I-S-A-N dot C-A. I don't know if they're, well, they're not open now. They don't look like they open at all anymore, but maybe they do. It's a pick your own apples, raspberries, pumpkins, none of which are in season right now. There's their orchards there. It has been open, so maybe it'll open in the fall. Who knows? Two hours and about 30 uh, kilometers into my ride. I'm gonna take a break here. I'm in Fournier. And in fact, I'm right at the church here in Fournier. Which you can see is uh, pretty impressive. Just gonna have some lunch here, a little coffee, an apple, and a Cliffs bar. One of the problems with all these towns, this one, Riceville, the next one I'll be going to, all the way to Van Cleek Hills, there's no stores in any of them, so I have to bring all my stuff with me. This is the hamlet of St. Bernardin, the third in my trio of little places I visit on the way to Van Cleek Hill. Again, no stores, no services, no nothing. Very nice, peaceful place. I like St. Bernardin. Oh yeah, those aircraft you hear in the background. And here goes one now. Looks like a DC-10 maybe, I don't know, can't really tell from here. Oh, there's a couple of them, maybe Herx. Or for the air show in Ottawa. And like, I'm a good 100 kilometers out of Ottawa, but I'm still seeing the air show, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I'm back on the dirt. Hi, cows.
is just a short stretch of the Prescott Russell Trail. I'm taking it, I'm looping around Van Cleek Hill and I'll be attacking the hill from the north because it'll be slightly easier and I'll have the wind at my back and it's a really cool bird right there. I don't know what it is. There it is. Aren't you something? You're a beauty. Yes, you are. And now for the hill. And the fire rescue truck. That takes me into Van Creek Hill. I hope the town's not on fire. Okay, I've climbed the great hill. I'm in Van Cleek Hill, it's about 55 kilometers total so far. I'm going to look for a restaurant for food and water, mostly water. Well, there's a Tim's and a gas station down the hill I just came up, but I don't feel like doing that. So I'm going to go in the other direction. The uh, restaurant here is closed, unfortunately. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go start heading back to Castleman. If I go down that hill, there's a truck stop at the highway called Herbs. I've been there many times. I'll be there again. This is McCrimmon. I'm maybe 70 kilometers or so into my ride on my way back. This is the beginning of Sky Road that I'll be on for 20 or so kilometers. McCrimmon is a pretty small town three or four houses and a connection to the highway down that road. This is Sky, S-K-Y-E, distinguished by being the smallest of the hamlets that I'll visit on this trip uh, because it has zero houses. All it is is an intersection. Maybe there was something here once upon a time, but right now there's not. So, and I'm in about... Uh, probably a bit more than 75, maybe almost 80 kilometers into the ride. So, looks like I'll, I'll certainly do my 100k getting back because I know I'm more than 25k from home. All good so far. Okay, this is the hill. It's not the tallest hill on my route, but it's easily the steepest. And uh, part of the reason I'm on my uh, touring bike today, although it's a heavier and slower bike, uh, it lets me do gravel, as you can see I'm doing that now. But I'm also testing to see how it does on these hills. Usually I get part way up this hill and have to push the rest of the way up. So this is a test for it to see how it does. I'll let you know at the top how I did. Well, I made it. <laughs> My thighs were burning and I had to scream out loud, but I did not walk my bike. So that's a victory. Hard one. Good bike. Well, that's the end of Sky Road and St. Rut, St. Isidore. Just a shade over 80 kilometers now. We're in the home stretch. There's a uh, barking dog in the garage. So. I think I won't linger too long. Just done the home stretch heading into Castleman. And I'm showing you this bit of road because this is where I'm passing 100 kilometers for the day. Still maybe three or four kilometers from home. But level achieved. I gotta figure out how to stop. <laughs>